I found became a psychological relief. When one saw that the tramps had a lot of flies in them, when one started to see, that's one less to bite me. The end of the season in September, oh, it's a big sigh of relief because this is hurricane season this time of year too, so we're always worried about that. generally bring them in around Labor Day, and then we'll go out and bring them all in. But it generally takes about six weeks to bring them all in, so... Want to take a look at this one? All right, we can get the top off of this one. This one looks real good. That's just a handful. There's probably 20 or 30 handfuls in. We generally replace about 50 traps per year. Sometimes you lose them to storm damage, sometimes they're stolen, sometimes they're vandalized beyond repair. Lots of times we go back in the fall to retrieve them. Well, the place we put 10 out, there's only 8. Well, we put 15 out, there's only 13. And you drive down the road adjacent to the area where we put the traps out, and you see them up in backyards. So you go up to retrieve them, and that's where the argument starts. No, this is my trap. No, this is my trap. So what we do is we came up with an idea to have a brand made. Which you can see, we uh, put this branding iron into a fire and, and marked them all. So there's, there's no argument anymore. Who owns the trap? The cost to construct a trap today is approximately $65. That includes materials and man hours to build one. The entire cost of this operation right now is approximately $20,000 a year. That's for placement, maintenance, retrieval, and all of that sort of thing, $20,000 a year. Most of that was uh, came from local support from the local people cause, because this is a grassroots organization that was formed by the people of Essex County. When you take everything and put it all together, from the cost of the unit, the appearance of the unit, the durability, uh, the storage, transport, putting it all around, then it, then it becomes really hard to beat.